Hello I'm Simon and welcome to the CyRob YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to show you how I fixed my microwave recently which had developed a fault where although the microwave would power on as soon as I then closed the door to actually use it it would trip the breaker and in my case it would actually trip all of the breakers for the house so, uh, so it became basically unusable. I'm not going to show you a demonstration of it tripping all the breakers because it resets everything in the house and it's a pain. Um, but I narrowed it down to the door switches or rather one of the three door switches in particular. But I ended up changing all three because they're 13 years old and uh, I thought well they're so cheap they're eight ninety nine for six from Amazon. And so I bought them and this is what I did to uh, get the fix done. So this is the usual Amazon over packaging. So you get the cardboard envelope, then you get a bag within that envelope, then you get another bag, and then within that bag is yet another bag and that contains the six switches. They seem to be all, um, it's, it's a, a common switch which is used literally in millions of microwaves and it's kind of a standard size. These are three pole switches um, which it's slightly different to two of the switches in the microwave, which are two pole switches, but it makes no difference. As long as you connect up the correct poles, you can use these three pole switches and um, you have a common pin on them and then a normally open and normally closed pin. So this is how a brand new switch should work. So this is on the uh, normally open pin and uh, just doing a simple resistance test you can see it's open circuit and then it closes very quickly and um, you get basically leads resistance 0.2 ohms and it and when you release the switch it switches back to open circuit very easily and quickly likewise on the normally open normally closed switch it goes straight to 0.2 ohms when it's um, when the switch isn't pressed and goes quickly to open circuit when it is pressed so uh, all nice and easy on my microwave it was pretty straightforward to get into it was uh, I had three uh, Phillips head screwdrivers uh, screws and then two T15 security screws some microwaves you need to access it from uh, the front panel so you'd need to check on access for yours so on mine the entire shroud comes off. Needless to say the power needs to be isolated from the microwave whilst it's open. That was the top switch and then we've got two other switches which I'm going to be replacing as well. And so this is one of the switches. This is just a two pole switch and it's a normally open switch. And so because I'm using a three pole switch I just use the normally open pin so you'll have one wire on the comms on the com pin and then one on the normally open pin and then on the monitor switch which uses all three you just use all three in just the same way and just make sure you uh, you know check the wiring take photos whatever you need to do and as you can see there these are the new switches fitted and um, and so I put the plug back in obviously don't touch anything <laughs> don't go anywhere near the interior of the microwave here incredibly high voltages at play this is just for testing before I uh, close everything back up and everything worked fine again then it um, turns on okay turns off okay and um, opening and closing the door doesn't trip the breaker anymore and so uh, that is job done and just for the sake of really about three pounds worth of switches the microwave lives to uh, fight another day and uh, hopefully I'll get another few years out of it. So this was the offending switch just here and if you compare it to the brand new switch even when it's closed it's at 2 ohms instead of 0.2 ohms so there's obviously some contact resistance going on in that particular pin but on the other one where it should be at 2 ohms immediately you'll see that it was bouncing around all over the place 
So when you've got resistance like that, it was ending up at over 100 at times. When the resistance is like that, that's going to be allowing voltage in, then not allowing voltage in, and um, it's going to trip your microwave and uh, make it unusable. So for the sake of replacing all three and having three new switch mechanisms, it seemed good practice to uh, get all three swapped over. And then just by opening it up, I couldn't open up a brand new one, but these contacts do look very worn down now. And, uh, and that would explain the erratic resistance figures. The new one, unfortunately, uh, has a is screwed down and uh, has the head cut off the screw. So I, I couldn't open it to compare, but the fix is done and that's the main thing. And um, everything's sorted. So if you have this pretty common problem of the door creating a problem on your microwave then uh, have a look at the door switches you might find the fix is uh, pretty cheap and easy and i hope you find that useful thanks very much for watching